We're back. And it, uh, it rained while we were gone. A lot. So, I mean, that is the 54 under there. And uh, apparently we were gonna turn the roof rack into a hot tub. We did. Yeah. All right. We were gone for almost three weeks. While gone, everything has gone to crap. Jackie is sick. I uh, apparently burned my esophagus. I don't know how you do that. Yeah. She did. Tore it a little. Why are you laughing at me? Guys, I've had a fever for days. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a hot tub on the roof of the 54. Don't know if it even runs anymore. You know, it's been sitting so long. So we're going to find that out today. Station wagon, the battery is completely dead. It yeah. doesn't start. The Cadillac has a bad alternator right now. So we're down to, you know, like zero freaking cars right now. Yeah. And so today the goal is to see if this thing still starts after I, you know, get rid of the swimming pool and the roof of it. I got to get the bike off the back of it yeah. and the rack off of it, taking all that crap off. Um, Cause we are going to Tennessee again couple weeks yes redneck rumble redneck rumble so we'll see you there i don't want to drag the bike behind the car the whole way um i just don't yeah so that's what i'm going to do right now see if it runs get the bike off the back then back to working on this or we'll go over there and we'll start working on the truck again and one of these days we'll charge the battery of the wagon yeah i'm not concerned about that right now <laughs> um we're, we're gonna be all over the place yeah so here we go so yeah, so I'm going to be um, judging the pinup contest at Redneck Rumble. I think it's actually the first year they're doing one there, so that's kind of cool. And uh, we're excited to get back up into Tennessee. Yeah, as long as you know we don't have the same issue as last time where the transmission decides to give up in Tennessee. That is true. We've we, had bad luck in Tennessee. We have. Well... Is that yep. the first time that we ever took the 54 yep. to Tennessee? Yeah. All right, guys, we have really bad luck in Tennessee. Yeah. So uh, the reason that we have the tarp on the 54 right now is because there has been a little bit of a leak, right? It's coming through the, the window, right? Uh, the windshield has yeah. decided it wanted to leak, which is awesome. I do not want to pull the windshield out of this car. It's not fun. And I don't want to do it. So, we got a tarp while yeah. we were gone. I need to uh, have a garage to park it in. That would be nice. But we don't have that right now. Instead, we have to buy alternators and transmissions. Yeah. I think this is the first day that we've seen sunlight since we've been home. Don't let that dump water on you. The moment of truth. Will it start? One, oh, one day. guys, we renamed the bus. It's now he became Gus. It's Gus the bus. Just felt necessary. Completely. So you get to ride with us in Gus the bus. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right. Will Steven be in a really bad mood? Or will he cheer up a little bit? This isn't gonna cheer me up even if it does start. <laughs> it's a bike removal. It's gonna be kinda sad not having the bike on here for a little bit. Yeah, because we use it so much. I can't reach the handlebars, so. And I think it's been up on the, the car now since Rumble. Um, yeah. No, because we took it off because Chad hauled it. 
to North Carolina for us. That's and then right. we put it back on the car in North Carolina. That's right. After modifying the rack so that we could bolt the bike on. So we actually had somebody who was supposed to come pick up the 52 when we got back. And uh, basically the day that we got home and Steven messaged him after he's been in touch for like the whole time we were gone. He's like, nah, man, sorry. <laughs> he said, I spent my money yesterday. I'm like, dude. Like we've turned so many people down now. Yeah. Love when I do that. Yeah, yeah, I'll hang on to it for you. And then they let you down. Usually I do this with an impact and it's a lot faster, but the impact is in the garage next door. And I just didn't feel like walking over there, but probably should have. Because I'd be done already. Because I mean, that is the garage you see in the background. It's so far. <laughs> that was tight. She off. Now we can get this off of here. There is spider webs all over this freaking car. That's Steven's favorite thing ever, guys. If you didn't know, he loves spiders so much. Yeah, they're awesome. It's about as much as I love snakes. Not quite as much as I love snakes. No, no I'm not gonna have convulsions and pass out if I see a spider. However, Jackie sees the snake. That's what's gonna happen. She probably, you know, sand and paint this thing. He wanted to do it the color of the car, right? I was just gonna paint it the same color as the rack. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll look nice. I just never got around to it. Yeah. So this rack bolts to my cross member under here because when you just attach it with like a trailer hitch, it was shaking back and forth so bad. It was terrible. So we made it where it bolts to the car and that made it way sturdier. Made it ride a lot better back here. But also made it a pain in the butt to take off of the car. Racks off. Racks on, racks off. <laughs> Seems getting really rusty. You know, because it won't stop raining in Florida. Oh my God, I got to do something with all this. I got too much to do. It's ridiculous. All right, we're off. 54 starts it runs, so that's a plus. Yeah. Hey, did you guys ever see all our stickers underneath the trunk? Because we got the pretty cool ones in there. Yeah. I mean, what else are you supposed to post stickers? Post stickers, put stickers. That's all right. And if you have a cool garage and you have a cool sticker, send it to us, we'll put it in the trunk. Um, how did I not know that you had one from Amy, from Louis Labrie's on there? I don't have that sticker. Uh -huh. Chevy runs, bike is off, in the shed. Cadillac? Who knows? Started right up, battery light's not on. I'm, I don't know if it's got a bad battery or if the alternator's trying to go out, but I'm not gonna deal with that right this second because I'm not gonna play the guessing game. I'll wait till it you know, leaves me stranded on the side of the road like an idiot and then I'll work on it like an idiot. Yeah. We're gonna go get the battery charger and gonna charge this freaking wagon up, see if we can get it running again. And then who knows what. I sound like Fran Drescher. A little bit. So we're no longer gonna look like we're filming in vintage filters too. I think we get to get our camera fixed this week. The photographer in me is extremely excited about that. The bank account is not excited about that. What do you got there, Steven? This is the storage box for the truck, folks. That's what we have. It's pretty cool. 
So this box will get mounted up under the truck up here in the front under this lid. So that's what these guys are. So these will bolt to the bed frame that I built and then to this cross member under there. That box will sit down on top of these and then we'll uh, drill these and bolt the box in. The box will also get a lock on the top. It will get a seal on it and probably also get some of the um, gas struts to lift the lid. But I was looking at it and the way it opens, we may have to cut this back a little bit more, which isn't a big deal. Did we cut that back already? No, we haven't cut this. And then I did mark it to cut already. I've got that line there. Okay. So I was gonna cut it back, but then I thought I might not have to. So we'll get the box down in there, which will be a little bit challenging, I think. I think first I'll get these bolted in. We'll drill it and bolt those in. Get the box sitting down in there and go from there. Are you going to have to take like the wood or anything off to get it in or? I hope not. We'll see. I don't know yet. I may have to pull that entire lid off of there to get it down in there. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's almost tall enough too to put like a small carry-on luggage in there, which is nice. Yeah. Definitely squeeze some duffel bags and stuff. I mean, it's... Functional. It's as, it's as big as it could be. It is 20 inches deep. Yeah. And then this steps up over the side of the frame rail. We had to make it a little shorter than I wanted after putting the battery box where it had to go. Um, but definitely some room for whatever. I mean, it's a truck, you know. You don't have a lot of storage when you have a single cab truck. It's just the way it is. You this gotta, is more storage than most people have. Yeah, you got so. an entire bed to throw stuff in, but, yeah. you know, whatever. We'll see. I think it's cool. Are you painting that too? Yeah, that'll, it'll just get painted uh, with a chassis paint, so it'll be black. Nice. And then have it decided what I want to do on the inside, whether we want to try to glue like some thin uh, carpet in it or rubberized undercoated or what. I don't really know yet. Let's go find this battery charger though. Should be over here. I know dad buried it behind everything. Dad cleaned up the garage while we were gone. He As, cleaned up his side. He yeah. Said. He said, I cleaned up my side of the studio. The rest is on y'all. Yeah. Oh God. You need a heavier battery charger. Except for he still left everything on top of the Chevelle so he can't take the cover off and show everybody. Especially Gordon. Gordon, I promise it's coming. Never gonna happen, Gordon. Never gonna happen. Did anybody else uh, ever take notice that there is a Falcon back there? Because there's one under the tarp, and I don't know if anybody's caught that yet. No, there's a 1963 Ford Falcon two-door hardtop Futura. And it is in the most beautiful blue. This and was your mom's car, right? Yeah. It, it was, still is your mom's car. It's still in her name. And this car actually, this is probably, well, besides my 54, the most rust-free car around here. There's, I think, like two little small spots you can kind of like, on the rear quarter. You can't You see can't it. even get no, it, yeah. You can't get to it. But there's like two Gosh. little spots on the rear quarter. And there's a couple over here on this quarter, like just like small stuff. But I mean, other than that, that car is like super solid. And it was, uh, my mom used to take us to school in this car, like in elementary school. That's what she would drop us off in and pick us up in. Of course, it didn't have the Ford Ranger wheels on it back yeah. then. It still had the original little 13s with the hubcaps, which the hubcaps are right there. The one's hanging up, right? Yep. Yeah. Still, still got them. Um, the car originally, I think this one was a 289 car or a 260 car. I mean, not 289. 
This is a 260 car, but it's got a uh, 302 in it out of like a, I think it's like a 70 something. Boss Mustang, which would probably still run right now, but the transmission I think has like first and reverse torn out of it at this point. But um, eventually, Dad will get to that one. So it was actually crazy. I had no idea that this car even existed. I gone through like a phase where I was like, oh, I want a Falcon. I think they're the coolest cars ever. And Steven's like, did you know there was one in the garage? I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, no, like really there's a Falcon in the back of the garage. So I dated him for like three years before I ever even knew that was back there. Yeah. <laughs> True story. She pays attention. I mean, it was covered with a lot of stuff. This is the cleanest I've ever seen that area. There's also a, I would say early fifties, don't know the exact year of it. I have no title or anything for it. There's a Willis truck cab back there that we chopped down years ago. My brother was going to build a rat rod out of it. And that's about as far as it got. We bought some metal to build a chassis and kind of did like a real like crude chop on it. And the, the roof had rust holes in it and he cut that off and got rid of the roof i wish he would have kept it we could have fixed it but now we have to try to either make the roof flat or try to form those rolled corners which can be done but we don't have an english wheel or anything like that i mean you could still do it if you wanted to you know make like some wood bucks or something and basically just hammer it all out by hand but i don't know if that's going to happen or not so We'll see. I don't even know if we'll ever do anything with it. Not having a title for it in Florida is kind of uh -oh. makes it a pain. There's other places like Georgia. You don't have to have a title for older vehicles, but in Florida, you have to. So we don't have the title for it that I know of. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it. So don't know what we'll do. You can do like a builder's title in Florida, kind of a pain in the butt. And then it's titled as, you know, whatever year it's finished, basically, you know, like, it's like homemade. Really? Um, yeah. Which I never knew that. Not a fan of. So who knows what we'll do with that. I was going to say, what do you guys think? Like when we're done with 4,000 projects, you think we should get Joey back over here and actually build this thing? I think that'd be cool. He, I don't think he's, I think he lost interest in it. I don't think he'll do anything with it, but he might. Um, well, the, <sighs> the title situation is, is a problem. Unless someone has a title for a Willis pickup truck that, you know, you're willing to part with and, a, you know, VIN plate, you know, we won't tell anybody we did that. Not going to lie, guys, I am going to be a little sad once this guy sold. I actually really do like this wagon, but. Yeah, I like it, too. It's cool, but. It's super comfy, too. Like, it's super comfy and really fun to drive. It just needs to be older. Correct. It's it's not my wagon. I mean, it is my wagon. It's just. Not, not the wagon, wagon she wants. Yeah, exactly. Get me a pickup truck first for regular life and uh, get me a wagon that we could work on because, you know, that'll come after the 53 and after the bus. <laughs> so, I mean, reality, I'm not going to have a wagon for a while. Yeah, pretty much. Charge away, buddy. Make it run again. It's off to the truck we go. I'm starving. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't worked on anything in a month. Because the last day I did anything was the 4th. Because we left on the 9th. It's been a month. <laughs> All right, where's my safety glasses? Now I don't know where anything's at. All right, so you're um, building the brackets now, you said, right? Or yeah, we got the brackets bent up, and we're going to drill them and get them mounted on the truck. I'm just finding the center of this. So yeah, so we're back on the truck. <laughs> back on the truck after all the other stupid crap we just did. Yeah. I want to at least get this box mounted. Don't let that drill fall. <laughs> now why? All of a sudden my nose is running. <clears throat> Maybe you cut my ick. 
This is like bent over 90. That's not good. There we go. Now she's 90. Uh, maybe it's the jalapenos. Oh, it could have been. Maybe that's what's got me. I don't know. They weren't very spicy, though, so I don't know. I think you're pretty spicy. Thanks. Just drilling. That's hot. Just like you are. Two holes. And around these edges, too. Make them look nice. Yeah. Even though you'll never see them, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, I can't wait until we get this camera fixed. X marks the spot. It does. With the dot, dot, dot. Hey guys, did you see my pinion angle demonstration? <laughs> Man, I don't want to look at that. I actually kind of understand pinion angles now. Well. It's not just the pinion angle, it's, it's, the, the, it's, it's the drive line speed. angles. Okay, yeah. There's multiple. But I don't have as many like little question marks going on in my brain. It's not just you. It's a lot of people that just do not understand drive line angles. And then some people think they understand it and they still don't really have a clue. Now we're gonna round these edges so they're not sharp and then we'll get in here and I guess try to get them clamped into the truck and drill the holes in the framework in here and then find us some bolts and then see about setting the box in and hopefully you know we have everything in the right spot the first time and don't have to drill new holes. This thing this thing's broke down. You think so? She's, she's had it. Oh, or anything's at anymore. Here's All right, so one. you're putting that guy in now, you said, right? No, I'm going to attempt to. is in. Got to take the back off to try and get it fully inside. And that's where we're at. Yeah, and we're missing two Allen wrenches out of here that I need. Oh, so that's my hunt. So that's awesome. Cool. So kind of like stupid and silly, but for the longest time, I really believed that Allen wrenches were only used for Ikea furniture. <laughs> I didn't know they had like a real importance in the real world. They do. Okay. <laughs> Down on that side. This is the problem. It's jammed into this. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is take this off. So if I get down in there, I'm gonna dry in here and cut that back a little bit. I figured that I was gonna have to modify this thing anyway. This is gonna be fun, because I'm gonna be cutting this on the dangerous side. Oh, are you living a dangerous life? I'm about to be. Hey babe. What? Take a walk on the wild side. No, I don't want to. Which side are you going to be facing? I don't know. I'm going to be facing both sides. There's lots of cut. You gotta, you gotta be a real camera lady now. You gotta be a real camera lady. You gotta move all over the place. Oh man. You gotta be like action news. Man, action jacks. There you go. <laughs> it really is me. Watch your eyeballs. I I'm 
I'm going to cut some of this riff off of this thing and get it some more burn. Okay. And cut this guy back. Like he left me. <laughs> It's like crazy looking at this in general, like where this should be something so small and so simple, like just re like that's complicated, isn't it? Like we are in a complicated situation now. Why are you laughing at me? We are in a complicated <laughs> situation here. <laughs> well, Sound like you're about to tell Spider-Man what to do. <laughs> We're in a complicated situation here. We're in a pickle. Live. We're in a dill pickle here. Yeah, I'm gonna do something different with that. With the box or with the latch? With the latch. Does that mean you have to redo everything on the top of the bed then too? Um, possibly. That's fun. That's what happens when you build custom stuff. Yeah. There is no diagram for it. This is our latch for the lid. It has that piece right there with the bowl on the end of it that sticks up through it yeah. and locks the lid. Um, okay. Yeah. I already knew it was going to be in my way and interfere. So we have a couple different options. One is to Cut the box and basically box this in around it and do the same thing with the lid. Or either remove that tab completely and do a different style lock in the, in the lid itself. Can you almost do like what you did with the trunk? Like can you have like, um, like a key then that would just open that whole thing with a ch -ch like the thing that slides under. Mm -hmm. Thanks for understanding that. That's also what's going to be in this. This is all taking a lot. So Valerie just might have a lot of keys. Well, that's that's all on the same key. Do you guys come up with anything? We drop this thing down some. So what's the next day? Still hot. Still sweating profusely. But we have a box in here. Got some more, <clears throat> some more modifications to make. We got to get the box sitting lower. I think we're higher in the back actually. So we got to be down below this framework in here. That way we don't have any interference with this because the box is offset this way. And I probably should have made it just a little bit more narrow. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, honestly, because it still has to clear this. So our next step is to, I'm gonna block this thing up under there and take the straps that I built for it or had built for it and lengthen those a little bit so we can set this down a little bit lower. So we can basically be all the way to the bottom of the chassis and still be okay. Obviously we can't hang below the chassis because the truck lays the chassis on the ground with the air ride. So, so that's what we got to do now. We got the lid back on here. We had to take it off to put it in there and I had to do a little bit more cutting, some relief cuts but that is done. You took the little tab off, right? Yeah, I we, don't know if I we cut, that, cut that tab off of there for this um, little lock. We're gonna change that to a different style because it was interfering with the lid. And I didn't really wanna have to cut the lid back for that stupid little latch. So, I'm gonna modify that also. And then I have to put a lock in this 
I'm gonna put a lock in this up here, and then I also have to put one of the flush mount handles in this, and then we'll be done with it. Woo -woo. Which won't be on this video, but I will at least get it exactly where it needs to be, hopefully, in this video. We literally have to like finish this in like, you know, 20 minutes so that Jackie can start editing this. Because <laughs> we're running behind, as always. We thought we were ahead for a little while. That didn't last long. I mean, I was down with the sickness. <laughs> yeah, Jackie's, you know, been deathly ill, so. What are you trying to line up? I need to get the box down low enough and level. Then I'll just add a little bit more to my pieces that I have to weld in so that it drops down about an eighth of an inch. Four or five inch pieces. How'd you guess? It's just new. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I don't do it Joey style. Mm -hmm. And cut them short. Cut it short. Jaw Customs. Jaw Customs. <laughs> Jaw Customs will cut it short for you. Number two. Number three. I think three is my favorite number. Three and seven. I'm an odd number girl. Steven, you're an, like an even number guy, aren't you? Sure. Do you like odds or evens? Don't care. I like you, you odd. <laughs> that is true. this is like what freaking teamwork teamwork all right so these were the straps basically holding the storage container in place kind of almost like a gas tank strap but made out of eighth inch and you know, two inches wide. So they weren't quite long enough. The storage container wasn't exactly where I want it. I want it down a little bit lower in there. So instead of completely remaking these because this is almost four feet of material per side. So we'll be wasting eight feet of material. What we're going to do, we'll hang these back under there, slide these into place, and I'll get the um, box sitting where I want it. And then whatever our gap is, I'm thinking it's probably going to be about an inch lower than what it was. So we'll get those bolted in, slide those up, put the tank where we want it, and then we'll just take this piece of flat plate that we cut and just weld it back to this where it needs to be. I was gonna say, are you gonna like oblong those holes so like you have adjustable movement? You don't, that won't be movement, that will be bolted flat. Gotcha. There won't be any move, there won't be any adjustability in this. The only way to adjust it would be to space this downward. Okay. But we won't, once it's set, it never needs to move. Okay. So that, that's the easy fix rather than trying to remake these and waste a bunch of material. Can't really see this stuff under there anyway, so you won't even know that that piece has been welded on, but we'll still weld it nice, grind it back, make it look good, so. That's the plan. Stan. That's the Stan plan, man. We told you we renamed the bus Gus, right? I think you did. Yeah. I think you already told them that. Gus, Gus. Gus the bus. Gus the bus. Really? Okay. We're hidden over here still. And we're not low enough. This is gonna be fun. I have faith in you. Nice. Alright. Excellent. Okay.
up. You good? Yeah, I cut myself in the worst spot. Oh, perfect. It's right in the fold. That's good. Yeah. That's where you want it. Do you want to put our blood together? We could be blood brothers and sisters. Oh, can we? Uh, you can just scoop some of mine up yeah. off of this <laughs> freaking thing over here. Look, I cut myself in the same spot. Do you want to so. like ET it? We can be like, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a lot of blood on the box. Valerie, he's literally put in blood and sweat. I don't know about tears yet. I mean, maybe secretly. No, Steven, okay. don't cry. Yes, you do. You cried during our wedding day. No, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm out here, guys. It's very warm out Dude, here. I think I've cut myself in like four places already on this stupid box. Only once was because of me. All because Valerie had to have a spot for her duffel bag. It's for her duffel bag. For duffeling. Honestly, I was very concerned about that too, Valerie. I was literally like, where are they going to put luggage and stuff? Still a little. What does it need? It needs the front of the box to go up a little. And I'm going to need you to get the welder ready. All right, we got these to the length we need. Now we're going to attack this one together under the truck. Now we're going to make this one match. And then Put them under there and should be able to bolt the box to it and be done. All right, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but we made these straps that's bolted to that framework on both sides they go underneath and then they bolt to a cross member up in the front so the box is in we do have a little bit more we do have a little bit more securing that we're going to do because those straps have some movement in them. So in this framework up here, we've got some drop bars through the center. So we'll make some spacers, drill through the inside of the box and through the um, framework there and get it bolted up into the front, secure against that framework for the bed. And then we're also gonna do a little bit of trimming on this here because I didn't want to drop the box down any lower, but we're still, we're really close there. So I'm, it needs a little bit of clearance. So we'll grind this down or cut it down just a little bit. Probably take about a quarter of an inch off of it. And then get the other bolts in the box so that it is secure. We'll get the get a handle in it and get a lock in it and that'll be done. That's it. It is gonna do it for this episode. This episode, this boring episode that we didn't accomplish much other than a massive amount of sweating. Yeah, oh, there's a lot. Oh man. Jeez. Freaking Florida. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. It's brutal. So anyway. That's going to do it. The box is in. It needs a, some more work, but we'll just show you all that once it's done. There's no need to film all that because it's kind of hard to film under the truck anyway. And that's where this is going to be taking place is, you know, drilling holes under there and all that good stuff. Making spacers, you know, boring stuff that you guys don't really care about. So we'll get the box finished up, bolted in, and operating like it's supposed to. And on yeah. one of the next videos, we'll... We'll show you all that stuff. Cool. We're hoping to get to a car show this weekend. It's kind of been a hot minute. It's been over a month since we've been to a cruise in or a show or anything. So uh, hopefully we find something over the weekend. Um, plus, we got to catch up and do some more work. And uh, we got to catch up and do some more work. We do. We got a lot of work to catch on. Uh, a lot of work to catch up on. Uh, we'll be heading to Redneck Rumble at the end of the month. So let us know who we're going to meet there and who we're going to see there. That's going to be really cool. And then, you all better be there. Yeah. We're driving all the way to Tennessee. Yeah. To see you. No, see not really. But um, we're going to have a really no, good time. No, really. We are. We're driving all the way to Tennessee to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Every one of you that show up to Tennessee. Yeah, that's it. Or if you live in Tennessee. And yeah. then September 28th is our car show. So again, put that on the calendar in Jacksonville, Florida. So it's our first year we're going to do it. And uh, we really hope to see you there. 
And I think that's really about it. Ooh. Big boy sizes are in stock. Extra larges have been restocked. And we have uh, just a handful of long sleeves left on our OG little saw blade designs. So Keep go on saw. a long sleeve. Yeah. You know, it's going to be cold eventually. Exactly. Not in Florida, but in other places. Yeah. So www.sawcustoms.com. And until then, oh, like. We got hats, too. Oh. Ooh. Buy yeah. some hats. We've been slacking on the hats. We only got a handful of those left, too. I think we only got um, four of the pink ones left and five of the black ones left. So, um, there you go. Yeah, go on and get yourself a Saw Customs you hat. You could own one. For all of your hot needs. For all of your head accessory wants and yeah. needs. And uh, if we're boring you with the truck and stuff, guys, that's what we do. Sorry. Not here to bore you. We're here to build the truck and we're here to build stuff and just let you follow along with our cool stuff in the meantime. So, you know, hopefully we'll <laughs> be getting done with this thing sooner than later. and. Moving on to the next project. Guess the bus. No, Guess is not the next project. Yeah, that is true. That is not the next project. Hey, guys, there is a new Etzel wagon in possibility. Yeah. Yeah. It's only, you know, a trip to Mississippi. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> we'll figure that part out. Uh. But yeah, until then, like, subscribe, comment, notifications on. Uh, seriously, subscribe, comment. It helps us more than you know, uh, the little things. It's free for you guys to do, but a really big help for us. So yeah, that's it, guys. We'll see you. See you on the next episode. I'll see you home at the house for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm hungry. That's right, me too. Mm -mm. I'm a fat kid. Get some Asian bowls tonight. Mm-mm.